Hi everyone and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today we are going to show you the four ways that I make different transitions. Now there are so many more ways to make transitions, but these are the four ways that I have been making transitions. And I've gotten a couple users who have asked me for how do you do this? How do you make these transitions as you see right here? So thank you for this because your comments is where I get ideas for my videos. So I'm going to explain where I get them. I'm not going to go into detail on how to do each one of these in LumaFusion. This is where do I get them and then how do I import them and then kind of get to this process of using them in LumaFusion. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I make new videos because I am going to make more in-depth videos on each one of these apps and how to use them in LumaFusion. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the four ways that I make transitions. Let's get to it. So where do I make these transitions? The images that I use, sometimes they are just pictures and I use blending or green screen and then I use LumaFusion's frame and fit to make things move. That's the first place that I make my transitions. The second is using PicArt app. Now it will ask you to make a subscription. You don't have to. It's actually free for what I do. Number three is VLLO. Again, it may have cost a little bit of money up front. It is an app and it's really great. I highly recommend spending the four or five dollars it might be. It really adds to your LumaFusion. And the fourth one is the free app called Clips from Apple that came out a while ago. If you haven't used it, do so. It's a blast. So without further ado, let's get to it. And I will show you again. I'm not going to show you how to use all of these. That's in the next video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make these videos. I'm going to start today with Clips. When you start clips, it's actually going to pop up and sh you'll see this. You can choose scenes, which actually can put you in the middle of some scenes, which is really quite fun. I'm in a gunfight right here. You can go to your own library and choose things. What I like to do is look at posters. If you haven't used this app, I will be doing another video on this. So I'll be doing a video on just clips. So stay tuned. But I just choose this black one right here to be continued. I click in the words and I use the scissors to delete what's there and then I get rid of the keyboard and you'll see over here a star okay I'm gonna hit that star the, then you want to see you'll see text is the first thing you'll see then stickers so I'm gonna go to stickers and you have all these fun stickers you can use the one that a lot of people wanted to see was this one right here the little star I make it as big as I can then I hit this X right here then you'll come out to where it won't allow you to see any animation until you record it. So now I'm going to hit this and hold it. At the top, you're going to see the timer. I do three seconds. Right here, I can hit play. You'll see a little box. This is where this video is. And it does have sound, so make sure if you want it muted, you mute it right here. To save it, you hit down here the up arrow in the box. So I'm going to save this video. This one is my other favorite, which you may have seen. And I can add this and do something like that to it. Again, I hit the X. I can't get the animation. Some of these animations repeat, some do not. The star repeated, this one will not. It just writes and it's finished. So I can let go and hit this, save the video that is used quite a bit in this one would be the little green one, which is, could be used for green screening. It is this one right here. Again, you can do it any which way you want. Again, in LumaFusion, you'll be able to change it. I do this and I record it. I'm here and save the video. Those are three items that I use in transitions. So that's just three and you can go through all of those and play with them. The other place is VLLO. And when you download this, they have something called Motion Photo. Insert a blank screen or anything you wanted, green screen if you wanted, as your background. It's going to load it. What I'm going to show you today is the templates. These are where you'll, you, you saw these hearts. And you could change these to a green screen if you wanted to and use it as a green screen. Now we'll go back to the default. 
and once you're done with this you save it and this was where I used the hearts so instead of using a black screen or anything I came into this one those are those hearts that originally came in and in frame and fit I went into blending and I used lighten I then I used the, uh, the blur and I used dream now once I'm here I can delete these hearts and I got this one right here you saw me use this one and again with this one I decided to go to blending and I used pin light the next one is one that I have done an entire video on I'll put a link up above but when you open up pick art it's going to ask you to join you do not have to join their subscription get to the home screen okay go to this big plus right here scroll down until you see drawings. Now, this has moved around in the last few years, but just get to drawings. <laughs> Click on new. This lets you record what you do on the screen. The first thing I'm going to tell you is the default is a white screen. I'm going to undo this. So this is a layer up here. We want to get rid of this white layer by hitting delete. Now I have a transparent layer that allows me to green screen or do whatever I want with this. And I'm going to come down to this brush and this is where I can choose this brush or this brush or this brush. Now these are the two that were in the sample video. Let's just choose this one. And again, I'm going to do my green screen. Now I have done this enough that if you choose any of their other greens, just move this to right here to the very tip of that corner. Then check that everything here is at 100. That should be a good green screen. And then what you can do is when you get here and you've got that good green screen, you just push down here and it'll add it right there. And it'll be there in the future. Do you see how the layers are still open? I'm missing this whole part of the presentation. So make sure you close those layers before you do this. And now I'm going to hit record. I come here. I can come down here and say I want this to be three seconds long. And now it's a three second transition. Now, if you wanted to, you could make it two here. I prefer to make things a little longer and adjust them in LumaFusion being instead of making them shorter and being stuck with a short video. I'm going to save this to my photos. Come back to drawings because I need to make more. Come to my pencil and I'm going to make this one. I like that one. Again, I have to change my color back to green. It won't default to it. I'm going to do a practice run. All right, notice I've closed those layers. Now what's the problem? I need to make sure I get rid of that white layer. Now it's still written on this, but make sure you close that layer by clicking it again to close the layer. I'm gonna click undo and undo again. Now I'm still, I undid this, so let's get rid of that. Close the layer. Here we, whoop, <laughs> undo. All right, so we're gonna say record. Stop the recording. Bring this down, 30 seconds. I like to make it run through first. I'm gonna say done, save to photos. When I come into LumaFusion, I can now come in and use these as green screens. So this is an example of one of the green screens I use. This was that one I wrote before. All I did is go into the chroma key, hit the, go to the key, go to the green screen, which I already did, and then usually the brightness range. You'll notice when I started, you see these little things here. Just bring that back, and there it is, really good makes it beautiful. Always run through the entire thing to make sure you don't have any edges that are weird. Now the other way is just a plain old picture. So just for an example, I went out to Google and I said, I want a cartoon star and I got different stars and this was one of them. So I'm gonna come here real quick and in frame and fit, I use stencil luma on this image. It usually works quite well with something that's on black. I'm actually going to get rid of it and I'll bring it down. Not a second and a half long. Okay. Let's say two. All right. So now it's just a big star. So we'll edit it. Make it really big. Come to frame and fit. Come up to blending. But Stencil Luma works the best with something with just a black background. Very simple frame and fit. We're going to go to the very beginning. Hit that. We're going to go to about the halfway point. It should be right there. Hit this. And we're going to bring the size down to just nothing. I really want the position to stay right there in the middle. 
Then I'm going to come right up to the very end, very, very end. And now I'm going to bring my size all the way back up. And I mean really bring it up because it's going to be showing the whole video now. So it's going to be bringing in, it's going to come in and open up to the video. So here we go. I'm going to come in, close this one down, bring that one up. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video by the Peppy Tucky and that the four ways that you can make transitions in LumaFusion are things that you might use. Please make sure you leave some comments down below. Your ideas are really where some of the best videos I think I've made come from. So I thank you in advance for your ideas and your creativity. So please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I make a new video. Thank you so much for watching the Peppy Techie YouTube channel. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.